Hi, baby girls. ¿Qué onda? ¿Cómo están? How is everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing super, super well today. Welcome to another video. So let's get started with the products we're going to be using on today's design. We're going to be using Sweater Weather Bronzed Nude Frostbite, which is from my new Christmas collection. We're also going to be using number six and our white gel polish. Those are available right now on the website. We're also going to be using my number 16 Kalinsky brush. This one will be releasing on Friday. Also Frostbite, you guys. The full Christmas collection. Everything brand new that you've been seeing here on my community posts, on my shorts. And I've talked to you guys about it here on my videos as well. Everything will be releasing on Friday friday i will also be restocking last year's collection which is gonna be a very small restock you guys okay it's not gonna be a huge restock but it is gonna be pretty small okay um since it is from last year and all a lot of you got it last year um but if you guys didn't get the chance to get it last year of course you're gonna have a small opportunity this year to get it and of course we will have our 2023 uh glitter collection for this year which is beautiful um i have it swatched again on my instagram here on my shorts um my brand ambassadors have swatched well um Paige has swatched them so if you guys want to go and watch her live um she has them swatched over there remember we have already a fifth brand ambassador which is going to be my final brand ambassador you guys i'm not gonna get any more brand ambassadors um i think five is perfect i'm just gonna stick to my five brand ambassadors um so yeah baby girls again you guys can use any of their discount codes to get 15 percent off um and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and start off with this design um this is this acrylic sweater weather is from my fall collection you guys but as you guys can see here it's a beautiful kind of like a uh winter color it's a perfect transition for winter i just thought this would be a perfect um transition set for winter you know what i mean because starting next year i am gonna start with my winter sets already you guys um yes i know we're still in fall but um you know christmas literally you guys is literally around the corner so i want to start with those already and yeah so i cannot wait to see what we create with our christmas collections so let's see let's see what i don't know what i come up with <laughs> so yeah baby girls um so we're gonna go ahead and add a sweater weather here on the tip of the nail we're gonna be doing a beautiful like i said um just like a transition set from fall to winter type of design here okay that's pretty much what i wanted i just wanted to close my 2023 fall designs with you know such a beautiful design so i'm like you know what let's just end it with sweater weather i just thought it was a perfect color to end fall and to start with our winter sets so yeah baby girls we're gonna go ahead and apply it here at the tip of the nail um, I went ahead and added like a little peekaboo type of design. I only went ahead and added a tiny little bit of frostbite around the Kiroko area. You guys saw what I did there. And then I went ahead and did an ombre using bronzed nude. I love this nude, you guys. I am in love. I think this one just became my favorite nude. And I, I love it. I love it. It's still available on the website. Um, if you guys want to get some goodies, I would highly, highly, highly suggest you guys to wait till friday so you guys can get like like the full you know version of bomb nails for christmas because we're gonna have a whole bunch of brand new things coming up and now here on the index nail um we're gonna go ahead and add sweater weather all throughout that nail as you guys can see here i am using my number four i'm, I'm sorry my number 16 kalinsky brush i moved on to my number 16 now you guys and i've been loving it so when you're using a brand new kalinsky brush you guys you pretty much want to break it in um you can't just you know use it the first time and be like oh it sucks because you need to give it um you need to give it that opportunity you know what i mean 
the more you use your brush the more you're gonna break it in and the more um you're gonna get used and also the more that you use it the more if you like flat brushes the flatter it's gonna get you know um i don't know you guys that's pretty much what i need to tell you about these brushes i mean literally overall all brushes are the same you need to break them in you need to get used to them um you pretty much need to just keep on using them this is about my probably my third time using it and i'm already comfortable with it i'm already comfortable with it i'm already loving it um yeah the first time around they are pretty thick they're they are pretty bulky because the reason being is there was a whole bunch of glue on it so that the bristles wouldn't be all you know everywhere um because of the little cap that they plays and all that you know what i mean it needs to look professional so they need to add all that glue and um the first time around even if you break it in um of course and you go ahead and use it in a set it's still gonna have some of those little particles because of course it's a brand new brush um the second time around you're still gonna notice it a little bit but about the third time it's gonna be perfect and again like i mentioned the more you use it the better it's gonna be so yeah baby girls um i love my new brush you guys we are gonna have it in a size 14 and a size 16 um this brush is is gonna be here to stay this is gonna be one of bomb nails um staple brushes they're gonna be here it's like the the crystal one with the crystal handle the pink one with the crystal handle i'm sorry and this one those two brushes are gonna be here to stay okay um the ombre brush unfortunately i'm not gonna bring it back anymore i've already explained my reasons as to why in past videos i'm not gonna get into it anymore but yeah that's gonna be a like a no-no brush for bomb nails okay so if you guys got the chance to get it perfect if you guys didn't you guys get the chance to have the one with the crystal handle or this one but yeah baby girls um on the ring finger i went ahead and added uh bronze nude all over the nail and then on the pinky we're gonna go ahead and do of course you guys know it um a little bit of whatchamacallit <laughs> color blocking that's pretty much what i was looking <laughs> the word that i was looking for so yeah we're gonna go ahead and do a color blocking here i started off with the nude as you guys can see here and um i began by applying it here on the cuticle area i guess and then i went ahead and placed my cuticle bead which is going to be of course a smaller bead um you have to be more careful with your beads when you're using a bigger size brush because of course it picks up um like more monomer and the more monomer of course a bigger bead so just practice a little bit with your liquid to powder ratios with a bigger bead and then i'm sorry with a bigger brush and i'm pretty sure you're gonna get the hang of it don't worry about it <laughs> so yeah baby girls now we're gonna go ahead and add a sweater weather here at the tip of the nail and we're gonna bring it all the way down um to the tip of the nail or to the fridge i'm sorry <laughs> so yeah baby girls i'm gonna bring you guys a video probably either tomorrow or thursday um and of course i'm gonna explain to you guys everything what's gonna be going down on friday the products that are gonna be restocking what's not gonna be restocking i've already mentioned to you guys that butter pecan and birthday suits will not be able to make it here in time by the way they're still not here this is exactly why i wasn't sure if i was gonna restock because they're still not here i spoke to my supplier they said they were gonna push production but for some reason they're still not here so unfortunately they're not gonna be able to restock um for you know the christmas drop but for um for valentine's it will restock i promise you because by then it'll already be here so yeah and of by then never mind you guys i'm not gonna talk about it i'm not gonna talk about it because i'm gonna talk about it <laughs> but um yeah we're gonna go ahead and well i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what's gonna restock what's not gonna restock what we're gonna be having new what's coming what's you know i'm gonna give you guys the whole information the whole 411 for friday 
so yeah now we're gonna go ahead and um cap everything you want to make sure you cap of course you want to add the right structure to each of the nails um the right structure to each of the nails um by adding a crystal clear acrylic on top of that um and of course we you don't want to ruin everything that we have going on we have an ombre we have glitter uh we have a color blocking so you want to make sure that that is nice and secure so the crystal clear acrylic will be restocking you guys that one will be back in stock don't worry a lot of you have asked me about the crystal clear acrylic so yes baby girls it'll be back in stock um and yeah <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and uh just cap everything i'm gonna leave you guys watching in this part of the video just chill sit back relax and i'll be back in just a minute
Okay, so now for filing, of course, we're gonna go in with my 8080 nail grid files. I love these files, you guys. Yes, I'm not saying this because this is my brand, but I really mean it, you guys. These are amazing freaking files. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove any acrylic that might have ran down towards the side walls and underneath the skin. I like to do this first. I don't know you guys it's just this is the way that i do my filing and shaping and all that um i know that a lot of you work different a lot of us pretty much nail techs work different um and this is just my way of doing things i'm not saying by any means that this is the correct way or this is the way you should be doing it um no i'm just sharing you guys what i do and what helps me and you know what what i do pretty much um and if it helps you it's perfect and if it doesn't it's okay you guys it's totally okay everybody like i said works different and um you know feels comfortable with other techniques so this is pretty much what i do and i'm just sharing you guys what i like to do so of course after i am completely done with my 8080 nail grid file of course i'm gonna move on to my electric file and for that i will be taking one of our new drill bits these are gonna be available on friday and these are the five in one drill bits these are safety bits you guys they don't have a round top or anything like that um so they won't cut you or your clients we will be having them in fine um medium and coarse and by the way i decided not to add a logo on them i just didn't see the point of me adding a logo honestly um maybe in the future i will but as for now i just i don't know you guys that's just me okay that's just me i know that a lot of small businesses do um you know they they care for that they care for having a logo on their drill bits but as for me i don't i just i don't know you guys it's just a drill bit you know what i mean i it's just a drill bit <laughs> i don't know maybe like i said maybe later on as for now i don't see the need to that but yeah um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a fine and drill bit and I'm gonna go ahead and debulk everything okay um, and what I mean by that is that I just like to remove any lumps and bumps because of course we are working with acrylic and sometimes we do leave a little bit of lumps and bumps here and there so we need to make sure that we have a very smooth surface so you want to remove that using either your hand file if you feel more if you feel more comfortable with a hand file or with a drill bit if that's what you feel comfortable with as well um i like to do it both ways i i do go in with my electric file first and then after this you're gonna be seeing me go back in with my 8080 nail grid file um and just go through you know and like throughout the surface of all of the nails you're gonna see that in a minute um but yeah of course i also like to go around my cuticle area and i'm gonna go ahead and seal that part because it is very important and that will um if you don't seal that part it's gonna cause you to have lifting as well so you want to make sure you remove that and make sure that that cuticle is nice and sealed and i also do take it along the side walls just to kind of snatch up that area and make sure that the um the side walls are nice and straight and i don't know you guys that just really helps me out so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this part out and then you're gonna be seeing me go back in with my 8080 throughout the surface of the nails and then of course we're gonna go in with a buffer
Okay, so moving along, we're gonna go ahead and start with all of the nail art. You're gonna be seeing me literally work with each finger. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a matte top coat first. <laughs> I wasn't sure if they were gonna be matte or if they were gonna be shiny, you guys. So I just kind of went with the flow of what I was gonna be going, doing, I'm sorry, with each of the nails. So for example, here on the first nail, which is our index nail, I just went ahead and added a matte top coat because I wanted um, like a little 3D flower here. So I just went ahead and added a matte top coat and then started working with our 3D flower. And by the way, I am using my 3D Kalinsky brush. This one will be restocking in on the website on Friday as well. Not with this precise handle. Like I said, this handle will not be back in stock ever again. But with our new hot pink handle. Um, it, it's pretty much the same uh, quality, you guys. Don't worry. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, uh, I went ahead and added my little 3D flower here like around the cuticle area using that same sweater weather um and then by the way this day was super cold you guys like super 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 cold so this acrylic was drying super slow on me like really really extra slow you guys so this flower took me about 20 minutes to finish it was supposed to be uh like 3d roses all throughout that nail but then i'm like you know what at this pace i'm gonna finish super late it's gonna take me a whole hour to finish one nail so i'm like no i'm just gonna go ahead and do one and that's it so that's pretty much what i did you guys and yeah and if you guys are seeing that if you're working with 3d or things like that and you guys are seeing that your acrylics are drying too slow on you because of this cold weather go ahead and add a couple of drops of the of your acetone in there and it'll speed up the process now i don't do this with my um what's it called with my like let's say i'm doing nails on my sister um and i'm seeing this like for a full set i don't do that you guys i just work with what i have and you know with the weather how it is you know what i mean um but if i am working with 3d i would do this but i don't have acetone at the moment so i just had to work like that with it by the way i do have a coffee warmer you guys um i bought it because i do like to drink coffee when i'm working when i'm recording i've always been like that you guys i've always liked to drink coffee when i'm here recording in the summer i drink iced coffee and in the winter i love to drink hot coffee so I do have a, a little pink uh, coffee warmer, like a mug warmer. And I was like, you know what? What if I use this for my monomer? I had used it last year, I think. Um, but I, I'm, I'm going to be honest, you guys. It didn't really work. So I'm going to try it again this year. And I'm going to leave it in, uh, there longer and see. And I'll tell you guys if it actually works. But if anybody has done that before, let me know how it's going for you guys. Because for me, I know last year it didn't really work um so yeah so again if you guys are seeing that your acrylic is like being super super slow i would highly recommend you guys warm up your monomer first i don't know um with a coffee warmer put your little container in front of a heater not like directly in front of a heater you know what i mean but you know a little further away as to where the heater kind of the heat reaches it and it could kind of warm it up before you start i don't know you guys i need to try some things out because literally this one was drying up on me super slow so yeah we're gonna go in now with a plaid nail here on or a plaid design here on the ring finger i really wanted to do a plaid design um so i went ahead and did it in white and with the teal color or with the greenish bluish color i don't even know what color this is you guys to be honest so i am using my 20 mm liner brush for this by the way we are still in stock in these so don't worry they're still available on the website um so yeah i'm using my 20 mm liner brush for this i'm gonna be creating like a super thin line and then a little thicker line and then we're also gonna be doing two at the bottom more like a thicker line and then a thinner line if that makes sense um and yeah we are using our white gel polish uh for this our bomb nails gel polish and this is gonna be the thicker line as you guys can see and then again we're gonna be doing a thinner line
Now with our bluish greenish um, gel polish, we're gonna be doing a super thick line, not a, like a very, very, very super thick line, but a thicker line and then the ones we just did. Um, and yeah, we're also gonna be, after we're done with this, we're gonna be adding a matte top coat on top of that. And then we're gonna be doing our sweater effect. Okay, baby girl, so after we have added our matte top coat on top of everything, now we're going to start off with our sweater effect. And now I'm going to be taking my 8 millimeter liner brush. This is the smallest, littlest liner brushes that I do have on the website for like little details like this. Um, we're going to be taking it to do the, the sweater effect. You guys can see here exactly how I'm doing it. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and sprinkle some crystal clear on top of that before curing. Um, oh no, I'm sorry, not crystal clear. We're going to be using the same, um, what's it called? Sweater weather. Uh, acrylic on top of that and then we're gonna go ahead and place it under the lamp for about 60 seconds you want to make sure you place it for 60 seconds you guys make sure because then whenever you come and uh, remove the excess powder with the little brush you're gonna make a mess yes you're gonna make a mess so make sure it is for 60 seconds so after that we're gonna go ahead and add another layer of matte top coat like i said i really didn't know what i was gonna be doing you guys so i just went with the flow and did literally each of the nails as i was going you know what i mean so now the sweater effect here on this nail is gonna be white um i did a reel on my instagram and i think i did post it here on my shorts on youtube if i'm not mistaken um but it it was with this sweater effect i'm sorry with this sweater weather acrylic and i did use i did an ombre with it and then i did use a white to create the sweater effect and it looks gorgeous you guys i really really like how that looked so we're gonna go ahead and pretty much do the literally the same thing you guys i did as i did on that reel and just do the sweater effect with the white using i think here i'm using my 15 mm liner brush so pretty much i did use all my all, all of my three liner brushes that i do have on the website to create this design you guys which i love i always love to use all three of them because you guys can actually see all three of them oh my god you guys can actually see all three of them in action i'm so sorry you guys i'm getting so tongue twisted in today's video i'm sorry you guys know you guys know it's not a bomb nails design or a bomb nails video without me and my tongue twisties 
or with my brain farts you guys know that <laughs> okay baby girl so of course now after that we're gonna move on and add our crystal clear acrylic on top of that and just make the sweater effect place it under the lamp for 60 seconds and wait for it to cure once it comes out of the lamp of course we're gonna be, be moving on to bling bling Okay, so the bling bling that we're going to be using in today's video is all Serenity Crystals, you guys. They are from Blue Streak. Don't forget to check them out. The link to them will be in the description box below as well as my coupon code if you guys are looking for high quality crystals. Um, so I am going to be using in these two big like um, shapes. I don't even know the names of them. I'm going to be honest. Um, and then we're going to be placing like a couple of... Um, smaller ones around them and that's pretty much it you guys i didn't want to add like way too much on there even though i did add much but not too much if that makes sense i thought it looked really cute like that so i just went ahead and left it and then here on the pinky we're gonna go ahead and add some more and of course we went ahead and did the exact same thing we did on the pinky on over here on the thumb because i did the exact same design as i did on the pinky on the thumb <laughs> and then on the flower um i don't know you guys i think i should have left it the way it is right here but oh, yeah, i don't know you guys i went ahead and added bling to it you're gonna be seeing that in a minute i didn't add a lot but i did add several and here comes the big one so yeah we do have an 18 mm mm no ml <laughs> milliliter um top coat shiny top coat which will be also available on friday i love this top coat you guys i cannot tell you how obsessed i am with this top coat it's so shiny i have it right now i'm using it on my right hand and I'm not kidding you guys, the shine is still there. You guys can see it. it. It hasn't cracked. It hasn't peeled off. Nothing, you guys. I freaking love this top coat. So yeah, um, we're going to go ahead and top coat the middle nail and make it super shiny. Cure under the lamp, add our cuticle oil, and this is the final result. I actually love this design. I wasn't really feeling it at the beginning. I don't know, you guys. For some reason, I haven't been like loving my recent fall designs for some reason i don't know you guys i don't know but um at the end i'm like oh it looks cute she's cute she's cute so yeah baby girls this is pretty much it i really hope you guys like it and don't forget to like comment and subscribe that really helps me a lot if you guys aren't subscribed please subscribe so yeah baby girls um this is pretty much it i really hope you guys like it i really hope you guys enjoy it i will be seeing you here probably either tomorrow probably thursday you guys most likely on thursday because that's when i'm gonna be posting the video of everything that's gonna be going down on friday and yeah so i'll be seeing you guys here on the next one stay safe god bless and bye bye